Howdy folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here once again and I'm excited today to be reviewing for you a semi-flexible solar panel from a company called Lensun. Uh, they offered to send me out a free sample if I do a review, review for them. I've always wanted to play around with these uh, flexible panels. Um, if you followed my blog and videos you know I have uh, four Renogy uh, the, the fixed glass type rigid panels up on the roof but uh, always been interested in these flexible ones this one's very thin I think two and a half millimeters thick and this is kind of the more modern ones they, they use a new a new fancy film technology on it um, that makes it uh, a lot more efficient than the, the first generation of them so maybe we'll take that apart and uh, I'll give you a good look at that. They also sent me a, a little charge controller there, just a little cheap PWM one, um, and some hookup cables. So that'll let me uh, test this out for you, see what kind of amperage I get out of it, and I'll be able to compare it straight to my uh, Renogies here and, and see if it, if it can match the efficiency. Um, one thing I'm, I'm really interested in doing with this panel is I want to make myself a little portable ground panel with it because this thing's so light comes in at around five pounds and being flexible like that it'd, it'd be uh, interesting maybe I'll make a frame for it and uh, so that'll be in, in a future video but this one I'll just do a, uh, a review of it and show you you know what kind of power it'll it'll put out so let's take it apart and give you a closer look at this baby Okay, so there we go. I got her out of the box. You can see how thin that baby is. Wow. Yeah, that's super thin. So it's supposed to be flexible. Um, not, you know, totally flexible, but it'll curve from 20 to 30 percent curve if you wanted to mount it on a curved surface. Um, I did a little research online and I found uh, several guys had used these on boats, very popular in the marine industry because they're uh, easy to mount on the boat. You can actually probably mount them with some sort of uh, sealant and on each corner they have this little uh, grommet so you could uh, put a bolt in there, hold it down or you could mount it on any type of surface really. Let's give you a quick look at the back in here. Rather than their standard aluminum type, this one uses a uh, fiberglass backing. There's some of the specs for the panel. 100 watt panel, 17 volts, it's kind of the working voltage. IMP 5.89 amps, that's your expected output at 17 volts. Um, open circuit voltage is 21. And a short current voltage is 6.1, so that's pretty comparable to my Renogy panel. It's about the same specs. Lensun. So up until they contacted me, I've never really heard of the Lensun company. Yes, they're kind of a new player in the market, especially the North American market. Uh, I believe they're based in China, I think Hong Kong, and they have distributor or warehouses around the world. I believe they have one in the UK and another one in Germany. But uh, you can, uh, in the description notes, I'll put a link to their website, or you can check out my uh, blog post. I'll have links there as well. So I've set myself up a little test bed here. I'm using their uh, PWM charge controller that they sent me and hooked it up to the panel and then I've hooked it into my uh, RV's battery bank. So I've turned off my other solar system so this is the only only thing and I've turned off my converter so this is the only thing charging my batteries right now. Um, the voltage on the batteries measures 13.2 volts and here's the current coming out of the solar panel and that's laid right flat so I'm getting about 5.8 uh, 5.8 something amps out of it 
that's pretty good laid flat. That's about my, what my Renegies would do. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So let me uh, tilt that panel a bit. Try to I'll find the, the optimal spot tilted towards the sun and we'll see what the max current coming out of this panel is. Okay, tilt it up to the best point. And what are we getting? 6.9-ish amps. That's awesome for a 100 watt panel. It's, that's doing well. So that panel does pretty good. Give you a closer look at this baby. There we go. So unlike uh, some of the panels, the uh, flexible panels in the in the past that had kind of a shiny surface on them, this one's using kind of a matte finish, um, so it absorbs more light. You don't get near the reflective light, so it makes it up to I think 20, 21 or 22 percent efficient. So. That's comparable to the, your standard glass panel. Also, it's uh, this uh, film they use. I was reading up on it. I think it's called EFTFE or something like that. Some kind of a chemical name. But it's much better than what they were using before. Their PET film, they called it before. So, yeah. And, of course, it's completely waterproof. Even the little box here is supposed to be waterproof on that. Okay, you know, I'll take it up on the roof and lay it up on the RV roof and give you a, a comparison in size to my uh, Renogy panels that are mounted up there. Okay, there we go. So it's not quite as long as the Renogy and a little bit wider, so probably pretty comparable in size to the, to the same footprint. There we go, we'll just give you a look at it on the roof there. So you can see that would be awesome to have <coughs> 10 or 12 of these wallpaper on the roof. And it's, you can actually walk on them with soft-soled shoes. That's why they're so popular on boats like sailboats where you don't have much deck space. Okay, for those who are interested in such things, there's the open uh, circuit voltage on the panel on my multimeter, 20.36 volts. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go lay this up by the, the four Renogy panels and then feed it in parallel along with my four Renogies into my uh, Bogart controller so I can see on the trimetric uh, monitor how much uh, current I'm getting out of the array at that point. Okay, there we go. Not super spot on, but it'll give it a good indication. Okay, so the five panels up there right now are putting out about 24.3. It's about 10.30 in the morning, crystal blue sky. So let me go disconnect the, the lens on panel, and then we can see the difference of what it's putting in. Okay, so I disconnected the lens sun panel. I'm back just with my four energies. And you can see the lens sun was doing pretty good. It was doing 24, so yeah, it's it's very comparable to what the energies are putting out. Even though it's a one of the flexible uh, thin panels. So there you go. There's a few quick tests of the panel and as far as I can tell, it uh, performs really well for a, for a flexible panel. I'm actually uh, a little shocked. I thought it wouldn't, wouldn't put out uh, as much as my Renogy panels do, but, but it does. Um, also a lot lighter. The Renogy ones are running 16 and a half pounds. Um, this one's about 5 pounds. And of course, much easier to mount. And also you can mount it on a curved roof. So. I think it would be ideal for, you know, camper vans and stuff like that where you you don't really want to be uh, mounting rigid panels on speed. You could even go with Velcro or something with this type of panel. Um, I really like the, the new uh, matte look finish. That looks like a really good feature. I don't know how hot it gets, whether it's in really hot weather it would suffer. 
Um, so another drawback is the price. So I've looked online and whereas my Renogies, each 100 watt panel is about $150 or so. This one's over 300 US dollars. So, you know, it's almost twice the price. So uh, that can be a, a negative. Um, also, I'm not so familiar with the company. Looking on online, I don't see near the, re the reviews or anything like a lot of the panels like Renogy have a lot of reviews on Amazon and have a track record. So um, I did see some reviews in some sailing forums and they really like this panel. So it uh, it hasn't really, I don't know how long it'll last, whether, you know, whether it'll get scuffed up like a lot of them did in the past or or whether it'll, you know, the plastic in it will fade or crack, anything like that. So there's a few things to keep in mind. So, uh, I'm going to do another video with this uh, panel included because I really want to make a, a portable boondocking rack for it so that uh, I don't really want to put it on my roof. I'm happy with my 400 watts, but I'd really like a portable panel that I could use in case I'm in the shade that I could have, you know, about 15 or 20 feet of wire and, and uh, put it out in the sun. Also, I'd be able to tilt it in the early morning a lot of times down in the desert, you know, the sun comes up and if I could have a, a, a ground panel, I could tilt it and catch that early morning sun, get a little bit of a head start on my battery charging. So I want to build a rack for it, but I also would like the rack to uh, ride in my truck bed. A couple toolboxes and one of the toolboxes I want to be able to mount the rack on it so that it could, when we travel, it could be on that toolbox and also hooked into the charging system at the same time. So that would be cool. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be an interesting mod. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Cheers.